Hello, previously I had done a video about a lazy Kate I was working on for the bobbins that you use with the electric eel wheel 5 and I got a lot of valuable feedback from that. So today I thought I would uh, show off my new version of the lazy Kate that incorporates a bunch of that feedback. So here it is. So here it is disassembled and uh, one of the reason, one of the really important things with this lazy Kate is to make it really portable because that's one of the main advantages of the electric eel wheel. So uh, this breaks down into a very small size, and uh, it's really quite simple. Um, it's just uh, sort of six of these screws and then six of these spacers like this that go onto the screws. So it'll probably come. Um, not assembled and you'll just put together these six pieces and then there's on this side you see there's these black um, little washers these are uh, felt washers that I've had uh, laser cut to the right size and those will just uh, go over like that and these will act as a break on the bobbin uh, so that they don't uh, spin too much that's an important feature for lazy kates so in order to assemble a lazy Kate, you just uh, slot the pieces together like this. And that's all there is to putting it together. And then one of the other things I got feedback on was that, you know, this is really light and that's important for shipping and keeping the price down. You want to keep the materials to a bare minimum. Uh, but uh, what I realized was that um, if I put a groove here like this, you can just take your bag of rice. I, I had some chickpeas, so I'm using chickpeas, but this would be something you'd you know, provide after you receive it, and most people have got a bag this size, and this adds a lot of weight and really helps keep things in place. You're using something you've already got, and then after you've got that put in, you just slot the bobbins in place like this. This is how this flyer works, and now you've, I mean, it's, it's fully assembled. It takes just uh, seconds to assemble and uh, you've got a, a lazy Kate. So I'd appreciate feedback on this version of the design and see what people think. And uh, oh, one other important thing is that uh, I've reworked the system. I, this should, I should be able to sell this for uh, under $30. So uh, that's another big advantage of, of this design, which I've really optimized to keep it economical, just like the uh, electric eel wheel. So, yep, please let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.